of all the wars that I've seen, and, and I've seen many, I still think it was one of the worst. The brutality that civilians suffered in Bosnia was horrific. Um, and the evil that people did to each other really shocked me. I think that's going to take a lot longer than 16 years to, to filter through. To feel safe and secure and to be able to speak up and take a step forward without fearing the risk of going back to Hungary. This is a beauty that hides in every human heart and different ideas, helps different us to live peacefully can live together in, in a much better world. As a history teacher, I strongly believe that it's of crucial importance for our students to discuss some of the topics which are considered to be highly controversial uh, and are usually omitted from, from a common talk between population, you know, among the population in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Younger generations have that uh, chance to, uh, to solve some of the problems uh, which exist from, the, from our long uh, complicated history of relations between uh, ethnic groups in Balkans and it's up to them actually to start the process of reconciliation which is going to uh, bring a better future for all of us. I am really amazed by how these young people from the local area come together and uh, can talk about uh, the conflicts that they had to face in the past and how they are trying to uh, find a solution for the conflict that still goes on. This peace and conflicts got really relevant to their daily life situation actually and then you get to see more of um, well, this case is uh, like how this divi division um, is, and it's not like um, it's not like you just come to like a UBC, UWC um, uh, course and just you you know which kind of people you're going to meet and everything. Your facilitator is reading to you and going over the people and what makes them easy. So, the saddest thing about conflict is the damage it does to to generations after. I think the trauma that comes after a conflict lasts for a very long time. So it's very newsworthy and it's an issue that I'm sure all of you are familiar with. Everywhere I go, I work with locals um, who are usually kids. Speaking to so many people, we've like you can actually you can see how hard it is, it's not just a theory, how hard it is to do something in practice, like to get rid of conflict. It's such a difficult thing. da prevaziđemo sve te naše predrasude i da prošlost ostavimo iza sebe samo da nastavimo da se više nikad ne dosi to što se desilo. A ovakve škole naravno mogu promijeniti promijeniti nešto u ovom sustavu jer povezuju ljude različitih religija, različite nacionalnosti i ukazuju nam na ljudske različitosti koje opet nas povezuju. Hej, hej, ti možete da se uvijek I think it would be very nice for me to come to Bosnia and also kind of share my experiences and also look at the similarities and differences in development after the war. We 
we all think that it's the time has come to actually stop like Yes, there was a conflict, but then to resolve it and to actually make an environment of peace and cooperation. Smatram da predmet o miru i rješavanju sukoba bi trebao biti obavezan dio našeg nastavnog programa, plana i programa i pošto nije nikada o tome nisam ništa ni naučila, smatram da je to potrebno za razvoj čitave zajednice. Pitanje i oprosta i pomirenja i suočavanja sa vlastitom odgovornošću je možda i najbitniji projekat u čitavoj Bosni i Hercegovini, u čitavoj bivšoj Jugoslaviji, jer infrastruktura i servisi se mogu obnoviti, mogu se lako srušiti, ali je očigledno puno teže na neki način pokrpati ljudske duše. The most important thing for resolving peace is really um, experience and every peace is different and you always have to try to find new ways of resolving conflicts because theory is not sufficient to solve, to find peace. Every conflict is different so it's, it's definitely been really rewarding to see different people talking on the conflict here or on the conflict on Sierra Leone or in the conflict in Israel and to see the similarities and to see how to also propose some changes that can be made to achieve peace in these places. So it's, it's definitely really enriching experience. Ljudi ne moraju dijeliti vremena prije rata i poslije rata. Oni moraju učiti svoju djecu da vole i da poštuju druge ljude bez obzira na njihovu nacionalnost, vjeroispovijest. It's really important to uh, take uh, young people out of the normal frame of mind and, and think uh, outside their regular patterns of thought uh, and see uh, how, how are things in our community, how are things in other communities. Economics, market, politics. To practice uh, exercises on uh, working out what conflict is, how best to deal with it, and peace building and peacemaking. I think hearing all those perspectives and stories combined with the practical element of this summer school has what is what has made this summer school really special for me. I think this school is the mission statement by itself, since the mission statement said that we should be here to, in UWC together to build a peace uh, and united nations. There is no such a company that is so ethical. We cannot sell weapons and in other hand say we should be living in peaceful ways. It's not working that way. Here I feel you can really feel the, the presence of, of the post-war situation with there's still a lot of buildings here that, that are, are still demolished and they're not built up and um, also with the discussions with the people here there's, there's some kind of tension between them and, and it's a very, uh, a very important topic in this area I feel. Bilo je to nešto, još uvijek je nešto što se tiče svim nas, pogotovo mladih ljudi i njihov ovaj njihov doprinos u, u, u tom sektoru je jako bitan. Ja 
ja sam bila presrećna što mogu sa mladim ljudima da radim, zato što smatram da je to najvažnije od svega što žuc, reći ću tako, žuc radi, jer su to one generacije koje su zakinute za mnogo šta i kojima mi moramo da stvorimo drugi ambijent. I hope that this summer school has provided them with tools to start critically thinking and to take them into their own life and to work as future peace builders. My vision is to have United World College in most areas, a little peace academy in Bosnia and Herzegovina. What I've seen in these few days is that uh, feedback from students is excellent. You should be very, very grateful when you have like this stability. It's, it's a blessing and like back home people had to work so hard for it, people died for it and then like we, the upcoming generations, get to have this. So now I have like very deep appreciation of the fact that now things are more democratic and you can feel secure and, and have the space to move forward.